There are a lot of website builders that all claim to be the best. Naturally, some are better than others, and you don't wanna waste your time researching each of them. That's why I've decided to make my best website builder tier list. I might be late to the party, but the format seems fun. So let's answer the main question. What's the best website builder for 2024? Today, I have 10 providers. I'm gonna use this wheel to determine the order in which we'll be placing them on the tier list. This way, it should be a little bit more interesting. All right, the first website builder is Webflow. Hmm. To be fair, Webflow is an interesting builder. For one, it's quite extensive and allows for a high level of customization of both design and features. It also doesn't leave all the work for you, having a nice selection of modern pre-made templates. I have to give points for having two different editing interfaces. The system is overall very comfortable if you're a web designer. As for the cons, you've seen the dashboard and tools on offer, so you probably get that it's not a tool for beginners. If you don't know at least a little bit about web design and its principles, there's gonna be a steep learning curve. The pricing here is quite expensive as well, considering some other providers on this list. I really don't like when providers limit your pages. Over $20 a month for a 150 page website restriction. Maybe not the smartest choice. Also, if you plan to run online stores, Webflow is lacking in tools. Shopify might be a better choice, but we'll talk about it later. So again, really great editing tools, lots of creative freedom and modern designs, but the pricing and steep learning curve places Webflow into the C tier. Not a bad website builder, but there are better alternatives. What will the wheel give us next? Hmm, it's Hostinger. Oh, that one's easy, S tier without a doubt. Why? First, it's the cheapest premium provider on the market. One subscription allows you to build and host 100 websites. That's why I recommend hosting a website builder for any beginner. I really like for you not to waste money. <laughs> second, it's also one of the fastest builders implementing the newest technology to load your website in around a second. Third, and this one bugs me specifically, but it's great for you, it's constantly upgraded. And if you wanna be hip, Hostinger is my favorite AI website builder. The AI here can basically build a custom site from start to finish, adding text, generating images, and even fixing the layout for you. The biggest problem with Hostinger is that it's a relatively new builder, which means that it's lacking a bit of features, elements, and options. There are also hard limits on products you can have and basically no marketing or business tools. While it's still lacking in certain areas, Hostinger is simple, truly affordable, and fast. Again, S tier. If you'd like to grab Hostinger with the best price, scan the QR code on the screen right now. You can also find discount links in the description for all of my recommendations. Spinning the best website builder wheel now gives us Site123, a website builder that as the name might suggest, caters to beginners. While the builder can feel a bit limiting, it basically has no learning curve since everything is so simple. It's the opposite of Webflow in this regard. You can build a complete website in an afternoon. You can also start selling even on the free plan here. Site123 allows you to grab a 10-year subscription, reducing the price. So if you really fall in love with this builder, go for it. But I mean, I wouldn't recommend subscribing to anything for 10 years up front. You might notice that the whole editor and dashboards do look a bit old school. It lacks a few tools that I would like to see, especially when it comes to business. It's a simple website builder for beginners, but it can be too simple at times. Hmm, I would probably add it to the B tier, but seeing as it's such an easy builder with a free plan, I'll be nice and place it in the A tier. Here we go again. Oh. And the irony, as we finish talking about a provider that looks and feels a bit dated, the wheel gives us arguably the most stylish and modern builder, Squarespace. The designs Squarespace offers are some of the best in the industry, and that's not just my opinion. Squarespace has won countless web design awards. When it comes to editing your site, it offers smooth drag and drop controls and a very clean dashboard. It's kind of a calm web building experience, if that makes any sense. There are enough business and marketing tools built in to suffice most projects. But I have to admit, I think it's a bit overpriced. If you can afford it, it'll be an amazing tool for your business or artistic endeavors, but there are way more affordable alternatives. So apart from that, I think it's truly one of the best. Of course, S tier. Spin the wheel. And here we go. It's Canva. 
You probably know Canva or at least used it once in your life to create some poster, CV or anything else, but I don't know if I would call it a true website builder. You can build a website and host it completely for free. In fact, there are no website builder specific plans, only overall Canva subscriptions. It allows you to connect a custom domain and even sell your designs to others. For a very simple project, Canva can be enough. But honestly, I can't recommend it to you. It's all just about designing a cool looking site rather than running anything real. No e-commerce, no security tools, no marketing, no app market. I mean, we can sit here all day naming what Canva lacks, but I think you get the point by now. With that said, I can't place it any higher than a D tier since it's not a full fledged website builder. Moving on and spinning the wheel, we get GoDaddy, a simple builder that I'd say best suits beginner business owners. The builder itself is very straightforward, offering lots of modern templates and simple controls. There are plenty of marketing and e-commerce tools with templates ready and also includes a free plan, especially if you need more web things than just a website builder since GoDaddy sells, well, quite a lot of different services. Now, GoDaddy's design side is more limited, especially if you want something truly unique. The premium subscriptions can be a bit costly, so I absolutely suggest starting with the cheapest option first. This is more general, but the GoDaddy dashboard and systems can be slow or bugged out sometimes, particularly when managing a few projects. Go GoDaddy tier placement. <laughs> Damn. Anyone else remember Go Go Gadget? Anyway, with the business tools, lots of different services on offer and a free plan, GoDaddy gets a B tier. Those free plans seem to save a lot of website builders' asses, huh? Well, let's spin this wheel once more and we get... Oh, Wix! Wix is a great choice, nearly a universal builder. While Wix has a few issues here and there, I can confidently say that it's the most extensive website builder on the market. I mean, there are more than 900 templates to choose from, plus an AI tool to make new ones. Apart from building everything on your own, it's difficult to even find providers to match the freedom you get here. With simple built-in marketing and business tools, Wix also has an app marketplace. I just really like that Wix has lots of guides or tips for beginners. So there's a lot here, and that's also Wix's downside. It can be confusing and disorienting when you start. It's really important that you get all of this. It's a bit of an overkill to get Wix for a super simple blog. Wix is a bit more expensive compared to others on the list, but considering how many things you get, it's like buying four builders in one. But no matter what you want to build, I recommend giving Wix's free plan a chance and deciding for yourself. Nowhere else to place a building platform so extensive than in the superior tier. Hey, if you're enjoying this builder tier list, why not drop a like on the video and subscribe for more? Your support is always appreciated. We have three providers left. And the next one on the best website builder tier list is Elementor, a website builder for WordPress that allows the same easy content management but adds drag and drop controls. So it can be used as a plugin with any hosting provider or by grabbing an Elementor hosting plan. The former allows for more flexibility and cheaper monthly fees. The latter is better optimized for this specific WordPress tool. The main pros of Elementor are ease of use, lots of extra tools, and modern looking templates. I personally work with Elementor for most of my projects, portfolios, landing pages, and anywhere where content isn't going to change often. But when we start talking about blogs or news sites, the content management side can be confusing and not always work as you might expect. The premium is on the more expensive side as well, and you'll have to learn a new way of managing that can sometimes conflict with WordPress itself. Elementor is probably the best website builder for mixing with WordPress. As for the rank, hmm, let's go with the middle, B tier. What's next on our tier list? It's none other than Shopify. You've probably heard about this web builder as being the best for online stores. And well, the rumors are true, sort of. The online selling and managing aspects I think are great, especially if you're a beginner. The Shopify builder has everything you need, but doesn't overburden you with advanced tools. Shopify also makes it easy to sell on multiple channels like Facebook or Amazon, and even allows you to integrate Shopify storefront into your existing site. If you ever run out of tools, well, there's an app store for that. If I'm not mistaken, it has more than 8,000 apps. Now, most of these apps usually have their own monthly pricing, so fees can really add up if you want something fancy. 
Shopify is also limited in templates. You get only a few of them free. Everything else will cost you a decent sum of money. And with restricted editing possibilities, you sort of have to rely on premium templates or third-party apps to be modern. Hmm. I have to give major points for free trials, good management tools, and a simple dashboard. But it's also a bit restrictive with its designs. Nevertheless, a great tool for e-commerce. A tier. But we don't need to spin the wheel anymore. The last provider is Weebly. And well, Weebly is not a bad builder, but it can feel outdated in some places. Weebly is great for small businesses since it allows you to run a store even on a free plan, so you can build from the ground up. As a builder, it's relatively easy to use. You get drag and drop controls, though you can't place elements anywhere you want. There are also simple marketing and e-commerce tools built in. However, the theme selection is lacking, and considering there's no AI implementation, Weebly feels restrictive design-wise. There are third-party template markets, but they are not as straightforward to use as Shopify. I also think the pricing is a bit out of balance when the most expensive plan nearly doubles in price but adds three new kind of simple features. All right, so to sum Weebly up, I think I'm gonna place it in the B tier. It's a good website builder, just failing to catch up with more modern providers. The pricing can also be a bit cheaper, but at least there's a limited free plan. All of that justifies the B tier. So that was my last provider for this best website builders tier list. Since it's sort of a new format for us, I would appreciate hearing your opinion on whether it's informative and useful. Just to reiterate a few points, if you want to get the top tier options, Hostinger will be the cheapest one to start. Wix is the most extensive building platform out there, and Squarespace is perfect for modern businesses or artists. Pick your weapon and onto the website building battlefield. Thank you for watching to the very end. As always, let's chat in the comments and don't forget to like the video. You can find a full Shopify review or info on most providers I've covered by subscribing to the Cyber News YouTube channel. Anyway, I'll see you all next time.